Hello, Flimsy Lunch Tray here in the new uh, battle option mode, Polygon in Big Hunt. So today, we're going to be talking about Gale. Um, she's one of the cruisers that you can take in the Polygon. You start off with the Valkyrie, and then after you accomplish so much damage, then you are able to get the Gale. And this is my, mm, I think, third match in the Gale. Um, as you can see, I've taken the buff uh, for the health, uh, you, where I think it's either you get a well-balanced set of characteristics or you can get 5,000 more health, where the standard is 40,000 health. So um, we had the 45,000 health. Um, so today I'm just going to be more talking about how, for me, I found playing with Gale works the best. So, yeah. So let's uh, get talking about this because there are some things that's kind of confusing about the game mode, especially when you, you try out your first two or three times, you're like, what is happening? So essentially in this game you need to a accomplish in getting a key to exit via the portal to get the maximum like uh, 10,000 of these, the B on top. I don't actually know what they're called now to come to think of it. Um, but right now you can see I've collected 100, um, and then there'll be 200 once this thorn which uh, goes down. But once you've collected a portal key, which you get from one of the lobster-eyed beasts, um, if they do have it, or if you end up just killing another player and taking their portal key, then it is how you exit the game. If you do not manage to um, get a portal key, then you're sent to the octagon where you have to fight with other players who also did not have a key. So you can see towards the top. Um, I'll talk about it again when it pops back up. Um, but when you get different kills, you are able to uh, add more, redistribute buffs, um, get more charges uh, for your ship, uh, which is uh, down here. Um, you have three options, uh, and you can go T, Y, U, uh, T being for your HP regeneration, uh, Y for your main armament, and then for maximum speed. So right now, um, after I've finished clearing the first zone, um, if you want to uh, be faster, you want to have more HP, you want to have uh, improve your main armament firing rate, um, you just toggle between uh, them. So right now, I've kept uh, the maximum speed and I have the main armament um, balanced between the two of them because I kind of want to be agile. Um, as dealing with this thorn ridge. I've not taken any damage, so there's no need for me to have uh, HP buff, uh, HP regeneration going right now. And so when we look at more of these, so let's look at HP regeneration. Continuously regenerates a ship's HP. When you activate a consumable, the available energy charges are redistributed. This strengthens the effect of the selected consumable, diminishes the effects of the unselected consumables. Um, which says the same thing here, but main armament firing rate changes the reload speed of main armaments. Uh, maximum speed changes the ship's maximum speed. So, as you can see, I've taken some hits now, so I could technically switch to HP regeneration right now, um, but I want to max out the main armament. Um, I want to keep focus on taking out uh, these two here. Now, the two main things I have found uh, with playing this game mode so far, even with the, the Valkyrie, um, but specifically with Gale in this scenario, um, yeah, so you can see when we get a kill, it's faster redistribution or increased charge limit. So I kind of go back and forth. So yeah, now we've done um, maximum number of charges. But anyhow, the, the two main things I've found with Gale is managing your torpedoes and managing your health are the two biggest things uh, to me when it comes to effectively playing in Gale um, in the big hunt with Polygon. Now you, with your torpedoes, let's take a look at those. You can do narrow spread or widespread. Oh, that's actually not going to show me any information. Um, but your torpedoes uh, are 8 kilometers uh, in distance, and you get 4 sets of them. As we can see, we have 13 seconds left on this one. Um, I'm focused on healing right now and engine speed, um, because I know before I get to my next uh, engagement, this uh, healing will have been finished. Um, but you get 4 sets of torpedoes, so it's essentially uh, 
yeah, we have four sets of five, so you have 20 torpedoes. Um, with a pretty fast uh, torpedo traverse, torpedo tube traverse, so that's quite nice. Um, and then with the essentially your secondaries, if you will, with your uh, main armament, um, those guns mostly fire when you're broadside. Uh, so you have to be broadsiding a target pretty well uh, to utilize them. But when it comes to the torpedoes, specifically when I get more in engagements with players, uh, whether yeah, the enemy players that aren't on my team or in a division with me, um, I don't just fire all my torpedoes at once. I kind of space them out. So the torpedo reload time, I don't remember what exactly it is off the top of my head, but we'll see here in just a minute. Um, after I fire a set, once I get closer here into this uh, red circle with a question mark, and that question mark is, is there a portal or not? Um, but with the torpedo, so say if you fire one yeah, fire set, you fire your next set, five or six seconds later, you fire the next set, five or six seconds later again, just spacing them out. So when you're dealing with the, uh, actual human players in this game, um, they're not always sure when the next set is coming. Or if they just see you launch all four sets, they're like, oh, okay, well this guy is out of torpedoes for, uh, it, yeah, 40 seconds. So, so I've come across some of the lobster-eyed um, monsters uh, that can potentially have a portal key. Now, you'll notice when you're fighting them, there'll also be the thorn ridges um, that also spawn with, um, so you kind of have to deal with them as well. And you can, uh, like with manual secondaries, you can select certain targets, which I've done. The lobster eyed's almost dead, and he's got a higher uh, rate of fire. So I'd rather the shots go on him, but I need to show a little more broadside. So we get to select a reward again, and this lobster eyed monster did not have um, a portal key. So I'm still going to have to go find one somewhere. But I want to finish off this Thorn Ridge and the next one that has popped off to uh, my right. But see, even spacing with uh, my torpedoes, uh, with these monsters, you can see, oh, I've got another set. I'm going to have another set off cooldown here now. I've got another set coming off cooldown in 10 seconds. Um, so I'm never like 100% just out of torpedoes um, to a certain extent. Now, the good thing about the Gale is that she stops really fast, so that's really nice. Now, my health has gone down to 24,000, so it's time for me to start healing. I don't need to worry about maneuverability so much with the, the ship's maximum speed. Um, because as you get closer to the portal, which is here in the center, um, there's other players that are also drawn closer to uh, the center portal. Um, so. When other players see that your health pool is low, um, whether or not you have a portal key, um, they might just feel like killing you. <laughs> um, so you want to be mindful, again, um, because when you're dealing with the lobster eye, you're dealing with orange ridges, you're dealing with other players, uh, especially with Gale, is you might not be thinking um, about um, selecting the HP regeneration um, because you're just so focused on the other players. So it's good to keep that uh, an eye on that. You know, for Valkyrie, you know, she just has uh, the HP heal uh, consumable that you can use. But with Gale, you're using these defined set of characteristics, which I didn't know how I'd feel about it at first, but I actually, I kind of liked it. So I'm going to show some broadside. He's almost dead. There we go. So he got me there with one hit. So I'm going to focus on keeping speed going and the HP regeneration. Now your detectability range in this game is 30 kilometers. I know it wasn't a Valkyrie, I think it's the same for all ships regardless. And um, in the, the top right corner of the screen you can see the time till portal opens. Now I can see these two players on the right, the Valkyrie Gale, oh and the other Gale, they all three have a portal key. Um, so for me being here right now, because there's so many players, I actually I don't want to be here right now. Um, I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. So I need to see if I can maybe take out... Yeah, so they took out that player. Um, I need to dis disengage from the area. So my HP is maxed right now. So 
know, this would be a moment I could switch to full engine speed just to kind of gain some distance and get out of there. Uh, because I want to go, uh, if you're looking on the map, um, I see that there's a potential to get a portal key down here. So I'd rather not deal with the player if I can just swing down here um, and grab one from the Lops Ride monster. Now, there's two things you have to keep in mind, is when there's players harassing you, like we have this Gale who's still following me, um, and then also at the same time trying to deal with, uh, you know, two Thorn Ridges and a Lobster Eyed, um, is that you're going to be taking a lot of damage, um, or a, a focus fire from the three of them. Um, so you'll notice that once I get to a certain extent, I'm going to be kind of dealing with the Lobster Eye, the Thorn Ridges, and also the, the player, uh, the Gale, that's uh, continuing to move in behind me. Because sometimes what they do is they just wait for you to kill the Lobster Eye, come in and take the Portal Key, and then you have to deal with them. And as you can see with my HP regeneration, um, you know, my HP's pool, my health pool is kind of low. So I'm still mining um, to space out the shots on my torpedoes uh, the best that I can. Now I did just realize that if I focus on the main armament, then my torpedoes actually reload faster. So that's actually something I just noticed in the replay. Um, so like right now, I could technically switch off the main engine and focus on main armaments. Um, but I want to keep the maneuverability because of Gale also having torpedoes. And that lobster, I didn't have a portal key either. So that's not good. So I'm going to try the evasive here. Now my focus is just going to be on the Gale player. I'm not even be concerned with the Thorn Ridge here. So I'm going to take a little bit of a hit there. There. It looks like he's also has his torpedo space. So I'm actually I'm going to slam on the brakes here because um, I'm going to assume that he's just fired another set at me because we're both doing the same thing. And um, yep, there's goes that set. So actually pretty good. So now I got his portal key, because he, he, that, as a, he, the, uh, he as a player, he didn't need to keep pursuing me. He had the portal key, but he just needed to stay alive. So, I've been invited to join a clan by that, or in a division, but I'm not actually sure who was, because I was trying to get the portal key, so I actually don't end up accepting this one, but I will accept another one here in a minute. Um, but this player, he had no need. Um, to push uh, and attack me. He just needed to focus on staying alive. Uh, but because he didn't focus on staying alive, then... Yeah. That's not good. So then you can see that the... I mean, I don't remember what they're called. But I'm at maximum now with it. So if I go through the portal, I will get 10,000 um, of those credits, is what I'm going to call them. Um, and I've mostly been using them to exchange for actual... Uh, money credits uh, in the game. Okay, so I've been invited to join. I'm trying to figure out who's invited me to join. And now I've accepted. So that means now I have two players I'm also divisioned with and we all have keys. So there's no need for us necessarily to fight amongst each other. They can focus their attention elsewhere. Now mind you, if you press uh, tab I don't know if it's actually going to work, yeah. Um, you can come here and you can uh, say leave the vision. So you can leave the vision instantly and then dump a bunch of torps and kill someone. So say for example you're in a division with um, a player who has a portal key and you don't. Well, if you just pull up beside him in the gale, leave the vision and then instantly dump all 40 torps into his side, or 20 torps into his side, uh, then you're going to kill him and steal his portal key. <laughs> And so my health is pretty much almost full here, so I've just focused on uh, engine speed, as I'm not sure if they might turn on me, but for now, it's just time to get out of the gale. So, I hope you uh, like this video, and then we'll go to the post-battle results and see how we fared. Alright, so here we go. The battle is over. We've exited successfully via the portal, and as I was looking here, um, I looked up before I recorded this part, is that these are called battle points. Um, so we received the max amount of battle points, which was 10,000 for this round. Uh, we did almost 800,000 damage, 32 torpedo hits, 2 capacitations, 9 destroyed, 19 floodings, and 358 
uh, target hits with the secondaries and 25 spotted. Um, so that's actually really good. So you can actually do a decent amount of damage um, if you're showing your side, you know, essentially broadsiding your targets to get those secondaries firing, uh, which is really good. Now, when you're playing this game, uh, it actually doesn't contribute towards your uh, daily XP uh, for receiving containers, uh, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, however, even with playing this battle, I think it was like a 15 minute battle, you know, if we su successfully exited via the portal and getting those 10,000 battle points. Um, I pulled this off uh, the website, and this shows you what you can use uh, those battle points towards. Um, so if you save up a lot, um, you can get some permanent camos for your ship, which um, I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, you can exchange 1,000 for 75,000 credits. Uh, you can also get six point skilled captains um, that are you using an event. And then you could get even a day of premium and you get 10 Halloween camouflages. Um, each of these are, are the different than the other. So, uh, all in all, it's good. Um, I personally am a, a guy who needs money. <laughs> so I am exchanging all of my battle points I've been getting so far for uh, credits. Now, for example, if you exited via the portal successfully in the Gale, uh, as an example, I don't know if, I think you get 10,000 regardless as long as you exit via the, the port. I think, I could totally be wrong. So you're used to this uh, game mode. Um, but I did get 10,000, and so I exchanged all 10,000 for the 75,000 credits, which meant that from one battle alone, I got 750,000 credits uh, from one 15 minute battle, which is actually pretty good. Um, so that's something I'm actually gonna be spending a lot of time uh, to help earn uh, the monies as we grind up towards the Shimakaze and just also needing it for other upgrades, like I need a few more for the Thunderer, so on and so forth. So yeah, so I hope this uh, helps you guys kind of know uh, what's going on with this event. Um, I believe we have this until December 1st, is how long uh, that we'll have Polygon, uh, the key battle, with the big hunt. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have already subscribed, thanks so much. And comment if you have questions or if you actually need to clarify or correct me if I said something wrong. So until next time, take care.